Whoops. Okay. I can't believe I'm actually going to be doing this, but... Oh boy, here we go. This is my first time doing Quantum TV in this stupid, idiotic, piece of crap wordings. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to risk this. Um, this here is a reaction video by Gara the Rage. I hope I said his whole name right. You know, if I'm, if I'm still doing this, let me actually check. Yeah, okay, it's Gara of the Rage. Also, nice thumbnail. Uh, this is my reaction video to Gara the Rage. Gara of the Rage is um video of uh, Quan TV, and there's going to be more. I will be starting to do um, reaction videos of Quantum TV, wherever it's from Review Tech USA, Mischief, Gar Up the Rage, Ackman, Mixie One, and Chris the Narc. So I'm going to have fun with that. <coughs> and so, yeah, let's begin. So, let's see. Copyright Disclaimer, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allow it, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Now, before I continue this, this is what I'm doing. I'm letting you, my viewers, my subscribers, to know... Do not, under any circumstances, harass or go as low as Quan TV. If you do that, you're no better than him. I'm giving you all that clear warning. So let's begin. Let's continue, actually. In other words, this means this is, this is a fair game. Oh wow, I just now realized that that Gara is actually flipping uh, he's flipping you off, but that's probably for Quan TV. So don't claim and false flag this video, cause I don't give a crap about your feelings. Also, it's illegal too. First off I want to Okay, before we continue with any of this, how I'm gonna work this out is we're gonna hear Quan TV talk, and then uh, we're going to hear um, Gara talk, and maybe in between I'll be talking over him by simply pausing. Just not to let you all know that. Say, Actman, congratulations. I'm glad that you got your monetization back. It's absolutely fantastic. Now you can start making your living again, making some fantastic videos, all that sort of good stuff. But I will tell you guys one thing, though. There is a certain, certain person on YouTube that's not really happy. Well, he's... I guess he Jeez, I wonder who it is. He's happy that Ackman got it back, but he's certainly not happy about a certain couple things that has happened to him. So why don't we just go ahead and write and dive into this video about Quantum TV. So, in a typical fashion, here I am, minding my own business, making my videos for me and my community. Then I get a wave of random dislikes out the ass for no reason, and then a bunch- Okay, I'm gonna pause it right here. Let's see what they say. So, two meals said, Hold this L, Ackman is back. Honestly, he's saying loser. Steel Ball Sun says, You lost. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Ackman got his monetization back. Just to let you know, have a good day. <laughs> you have hateful comments again. And I'm like, What in the actual fuck could have possibly have happened, right? Yeah, Quantum, I wonder what it could be, you know, you haven't been busy copywriting people like, you know, Hypocrite Hunter and Repzillion, you know, you know, you didn't do any of that, you know, I, w I wonder, and, you know, people are probably happy that Ackman got his monetization back, you know, that typical thing, you know, how trolls come to your channel and mess with you, no, I don't think it's any of that. Because, okay, so right here where he says, Quantum TV cannot handle criticism. 
he goes off, whines, cries, and complains like a little baby. Yeah, a little baby. He's not even much of an adult than he is a baby because he always keeps reacting to this. He tries to also play the victim card, even using the race card. Even though Quantum TV is a racist man himself. I'm not doing anything to anybody. I'm making my videos, right? So I go and I literally read some of what you guys are saying. And, and it's literally, Actman got his monetization back just to let you know, have a good day. You lost. Hold this L. Actman is back. Like, a bunch of shit like that. Are you motherfuckers stupid? No, Quantum. The only dumb motherfucker here is you. You keep beating these trolls, and that's why they keep coming back, because they... See? Okay, sorry, I'm Gara. Gotta do my thing now. Yeah, see? Go not Gara. Quantum TV cannot handle handle trolls either. He will respond to anything. That's what trolls are going to do. They will keep coming back to you, Quantum TV, because you keep responding to them. You will never learn that lesson at all. They love, they love the attention you give, and you don't want to listen to anybody else to what they're saying, you just want to do what Quantum wants. So Quantum's going to get what Quantum wants. Okay. The Act Man, in his own fucking, you know, lack of, I guess, transparency with you guys, failed to mention the fact that, A, he knew why he got mon demonetized. It was his own fault. Had nothing to do with Quantum TV. He lied on the Phil DeFranco show. That shit got exposed. And you motherfuckers ran to hashtag justice for Act Man for a fucker that did it to himself. I love it. Okay, for those who don't know what Quan TV is saying, um, last month, um, the Act Man got demonetized <coughs> for a month because he said, in a sarcastic, joking way, I know too that even he was being sarcastic. But I will agree with Quan TV on this. That was kind of a dumb decision on the Actman's part. I will just move on. Or heck, do whatever you want. I'm not good at this because I didn't make a script for this. Oh no, I'm going in blind. But when he repeats himself, it just makes it too easy to make content. Dude, the only reason why he didn't come out right and say it because he wanted another YouTube of, what is it? Uh, support team to come out and basically say, yeah, this is the reason why he got removed. It's just to cover your bases is that type of thing you do with YouTube. Because I'm pretty sure that Actman did not want to burn any more bridges at YouTube. Also, quit trying to play the victim here too, Quantum. We all know for a fact that you took part of this, okay? You weren't directly influenced in it, but you, you are part of this story, okay? We know YouTube removed him from the partnership program because of the tweets, which is fair enough, okay? YouTube is kind of like that old age person that doesn't understand a joke when it's right there. They're just, they're going to take the easy way out, as usual, like YouTube likes to do. Okay, and it wasn't even a permaban, which I said from day fucking one of the shit. It's just a fucking suspension, and he could have reapplied on July 8th. Go watch every single video talking about Actman's channel got demonetized and his whole YouTube career is over, and they sided with Quantum TV and all this dumb shit, in every single one of those videos showing that email or that takedown of his monetization, you'll see it says he can reapply on July 8th. And what happened shortly after he got his shit back? How, how are you not fucking catching up on that? It was never an indefinite ban. It was never permanently taken away. And it never had anything to do with me. Like I said, Quantum, you... Yes, it does, Quantum TV. You are the cause in the first place. You did this to yourself. And you do not understand that one bit. Because you are just like... I can't believe I'm doing this. You are just like Trump. Donald Trump. That's right. I just said that. The EX former president... Goes off, manipulates, tells lies, r refuses to admit when he's wrong. That's you, Quantum TV. You never learn. And that's why 
people are always on your tail. We're part of it, to be honest with you. You were part of it because you are the main discussion here to uh, the majority of these problems. But you are right. Actman's actions, what he did there, are his own. And you, you are right about that. And you were right about, you know, he... Okay, yes, I will agree there as well that Ackman should not have done those tweets. I do not think he should have done that in the beginning at all. Hey, what is it? Getting his monetization back on June 8th. But if memory serves me right, you've got an ego about the size of a air balloon. And... Just like Trump! The... You, uh, you gloated about this. You were so happy that he got demonetized and everything. Don't play victim, bruh. I know what you did. But here come all you little fucks coming onto my shit, talking your shit, running your mouths, doing what you do best. And it proves something, okay? That Act Man, his friends, his community of gamers, loser gamers, okay? And yeah, I said losers, because that's all you are. Okay? okay? Sitting here with nothing better to do than to harass somebody that doesn't give a fuck one way or another. It's not my revenue. I don't give a fuck if he has it or if he doesn't. He can make $8.5 billion tomorrow, and it changes my life no more than it changes yours. I just love how he just called, like, a whole bunch of groups of absolute losers. Um, look who's calling who a loser, Quantum TV. You are the loser. Hey, you know what? This sounds like something I've heard before. Kind of the same pattern. You know, kind of like he's insane or something. You know... He doesn't attack communities or make, you know, name calls to them. It's not like he just told the, you know, the Elden Ring community to go end themselves. You know, it's kind of... Okay, about that part right there, he did a review of Elden Ring, a very horrible review. Um, during that section, he told the Elden Ring community to go... ...to kill themselves. Yeah. He does not deserve to be on YouTube one bit. Kind of like a repeated behavior Quantum has. Kind of scary, isn't it, guys? Quantum, if he made that time, that much money and stuff, you would be jelly as hell. Knowing you pretty well, you would be really upset and you would try to farm this man as much as you could in order to gain that tra traction, I should say. I mean, for example, this video right here, this video wasn't necessary to make, dude, but you had to make it because you see his name. Oh, yeah, the people are harassing me and stuff, you know. When, oh, man, those comments that you get <clears throat> are very tame compared to the stuff that I've gotten from your fans and all that type of stuff, you know. It's just that little thing I just wanted to wedge in, you know, just that type of thing. Okay, I don't give a fuck that he got monetized no more than I did when he got his shit taken away. But what I, I do care about is this misconception being spread around like it's somehow my fault that he got his shit Again, it is your fault. Taken away. And like YouTube sided with me. They don't side with anybody, dude. Like they just do what they think they can do with their policies. You know, whatever seems right for them, okay? Oh, I know what Quantum's talking about now, definitely. Okay, hey, Quantum, you know those videos that were being made uh, about how uh, YouTube sided with you and stuff? Yeah, we're talking about the emails that he got from his YouTube contact support, okay? That's what we're talking about. Not that, uh, you know, he got removed from the partner program. Jeez, dude, please try to keep up with this. How stupid you are. Because let me tell you this. This fucking loser act man wants to jump up and down talking about a dragon never yields and, oh, I'm going to get quantum terminated and all this flexing of might that he didn't have. Then, when that failed, runs and bites YouTube's hand, and then they slap him to the floor, and then now he knows to shut up, and now he knows his place, right? He knows not to start that shit with YouTube again, right? You know, Quantum, there's one thing that you still have not learned, and why a lot of people just do not like you. See, with Actman, he learned his lesson. He learned that he was out of turn, he could not do the things that he was doing and stuff, and YouTube just did not agree with him. And you know what? He learned and he moved on. You, on the other hand, you, de <laughs> you, on the other hand, keep copyright striking channels saying that you are the ultimate law here and that you are above everybody else. When YouTube swings at you and makes its indent on you, 
don't cry. Don't cry, Quantum, because it's going to sting. Now, magically, it's not about a dragon never yields and all this other shit he was talking about when he started trying to get me canceled. Because the truth is, it was never about that shit. He was just upset and doing shit to retaliate for the sake of retaliation. You all know that. That's 90% of you watching this video right now. You're just running your mouth, talking your shit, because you can. And you still can talk your shit, and you still will. But the point is, it's like, nobody fucking cares, man. Like, who gives a shit the punk bitch got his monetization back? Nobody cares. It does not affect me. Quantum, let me tell you something. Um, let's see here, Quantum. I think it kind of does affect you. You want to know why, folks? Because he likes doing this. He enjoys making other people suffer. You say, so let's take a look at some of, let's take a look at some communities. You almost kind of say one bad thing about, let's say either Steven Universe, Pokemon, or some of those really other toxic ones. And you're going to get people running down your throat. You know what it's called, Quantum TV? You want to know what it's called? It's called criticism. You cannot handle criticism one freaking bit. Um, buddy, for the patterns that I have learned about you and just the ungodly information I've dug up from you, you do care. You do care enough that you actually made a video about this, okay? That's what you don't understand. You cared enough, just absolutely enough to make a video on this. That's the, that's the crazy part with you, bruh. You cared enough. I'm still running my shit, right? Now, my advice to everybody who is still holding on to this for whatever reason is to see it for what it is, you know? You're talking about somebody who put their foot in their mouth, who has so many racist takes in their past, sitting here trying to get somebody canceled, and, and, and you want to sit here and you want to have your cake and eat it too. Either you care about this shit that you claim you care about or you don't, you know. You, you can come at it every which way from Sunday. Y'all can believe what you want at this point. Everybody in this fucking video has their mind made up as to whether they think I'm some sort of bad person or not. And when I get this video out on you, people are going to see you are actually a true bad person, okay? Your little hive mind that you have in the Discord channel, they can believe whatever you decide to spew up, bro. I don't give a two flying fucks. You, on the other hand, your ass is mine. And then once I get this video that I've been working really hard on, and once I get it out to the public, ho oh, oh. ho. And I'm looking forward to it. I will be reacting on that video that Gara's mentioning. People are going to see your true colors, Quantum. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, what I should really say is, uh, they'll really see your true saturation. I genuinely don't give a shit about that. But again, coming here and just still harassing me all these months later on some shit that I literally can't control. I can't snap my fingers and make YouTube pull his demonetization or his monetization. No more than I could help get it restored. It's something that he had to wait out. He waited it out and he got a shit back. Leave me out of it. I don't care one way or another. I've said that now in this video multiple times. Bruh, okay, you care, Quantum. Let's not play around on this subject. You care. You can just keep saying the video. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But you made a video because you do care. Okay? I don't know how many times I have to say this to you, but you do care. And that's sad. So now in another deleted video, he just recently deleted yet again. I swear to God, he is such a clown sometimes. He made another video addressing uh, Review Text USA recent video and stuff. And uh, let's just say he's uh, he's a little spicy in this one, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you're right, Gar. I'm sure that this is going to be a, a spicy meatball. This other video, part two, baby. Okay, so somebody on Discord was nice enough to tell me that this came from Review Tech USA. All of the random hate that I'm getting, not actually random. Big surprise, it's the guy that can't let it go that he got himself in trouble and has a permanent warning on his channel. Hey, let's get a counter for this. How many times the uh, accusations he's made to Review Tech USA? Man, that's gonna be a huge counter. Maybe it's at like two or three right now? Not too sure, but let's continue. Just like Actman does. Amazing, the people who get themselves in trouble retaliate because they don't agree with the verdict. 
I mean, who would have saw that coming, right? Now, here's the thing. Review Tech USA kind of is more than annoying because he acts like somebody wants his attention. And, and I'll just kind of let you say that on camera and then I'm going to chime in, okay? Aww. <sighs> quantum, quantum, quantum. You fool. You really don't know Review Tech USA at all. Why has he been doing this, Quantum? Why? I'll tell you why. He's calling you out. Just like everyone else. He's not harassing you. He's calling you out for your bullcrap. Quantum, do you want some attention, little man? Do you want attention from Daddy Gara? I'll give you attention, baby. I know, I know Review Tech USA ain't giving you the attention that you want right now, but God, Daddy Gar is here, baby. I'll give you the attention. <laughs> oh, I was going to think about just muting my mic, but I couldn't help but laugh. Oh, that's classic of you, Gara. That's classic. <laughs> he wants the attention again. He also doesn't like when people talk badly about him. So, YouTube, he's still a liability. Okay. Now, this is hilarious coming from this guy. Okay, so what does Review Tech USA mean by that he's still been doing this? He's been doing this for since his Elden Ring review. He's been going around false copyright claiming people just so that he can keep other people hush hush. Keep them quiet so that no one else will know about how Quantum TV really is. All Quantum TV is, is a monster. He makes Godzilla look like he has more human. Yeah, so I just compared Quantum TV to a non-fictional creature. Guy, let me, let me just break this down in a couple of sections, okay? I want, apparently, attention so bad in your mind. I'm, like, living rent-free in your head, dude. Like, if you look at all my videos until this point, like, I'm talking about televisions and trying to hang out with my community. We we really, you're, you're not even a factor in my world, okay? I'm a television reviewer, and you're a drama channel. Really couldn't care less about you. The funniest thing, though, is, like, apparently in your mind, I want your attention so bad, you have to hashtag me in order for me to see you. That's just a hashtag, Quantum. It's not to get your attention. There's an algorithm that goes with the hashtags and you have to put them accordingly if you wanted to get into the algorithm and get it moving. It's just that type of thing. Okay, Quantum? But you, 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 you follow his every single move. You are just begging for his attention. Basically, like a stalker. Quantum TV is just basically stalking Quantum... I was about to say Quan was stalking himself. Yeesh. What I meant to say was was Quan TV is just stalking Review Tech USA, trying to figure out how to keep Review Tech USA quiet. Me? I know I've got your attention, okay? And Daddy Gar's here, man. <clears throat> Why don't you just come over here? I'll give you a hug. I'll I'll make sure you feel welcomed, man. Oh, and uh, where you were mentioning that he did tag you and all that type of stuff. No, actually, one of my co-workers, or, and a good friend, too, actually tagged you in one of his recent videos. Or not in his recent videos, but in his community tab. You're probably thinking of Chris the Narc, okay? Let's get that right. It's not Review Tech USA. Let's get that out of your head and replace it with Chris the Narc, the person that did tag you. That's how badly I want your attention? No, you want my attention. That's why you keep linking me to this shit. That's why you keep hashtagging me to this shit. That's you want people to continuously bombard and harass me because you're upset because you got yourself in trouble. Take accountability, learn from it, and move on. But of course, that's not what you are. Quantum. Quantum, quantum, quantum. You should be the one talking about moving on. You need to move on. We all want to move on from you. But no, you just want attention. That's all you want. Attention, attention, 
just to get at least up to that 100,000 sub. That's what you're trying to do. But because so much information how bad you are came out, you potentially reaching that is slim. Yep, I'm actually going to say he actually has a small Quan TV, has a slim, small chance of actually reaching the 1,000. But 1 million Quan TV, that's a pipe dream for you. You're never going to reach it because of your behavior. Buddy, pal, amigo, why do we keep projecting onto people about the mistakes you have done? Like, come on, dude, dude. The projection is real. You, I think it's called gaslighting. I'm not too sure. But, you know, the preferred term I like to use, projecting. You know, you project a lot onto people, bruh. And it's really sad. Right. Now, you talk a lot about liability. Let's talk about the thing you love to say a lot, the adpocalypse. The reason that happened was because controversial figures like Review Tech USA were being attached to reputable brands that did not want anything to do with raunchy, ratchet-ass content. That's the truth. The reality is if I'm promoting a reputable business, I don't want to be seen next to a guy that goes into a mall, okay, and starts calling the quartering a pussy and harassing people. IRL, like you're literally an in real life menace. Like people are just sitting down in a food court and you shout, you need attention and the quartering is a pussy. That is literally disorderly conduct in real life. Like this is who you are just as a person, like past this YouTube shit. And, and you think that I'm the liability making TV videos? This is the concept that has run rampant on the YouTube commentary community for years because you're allowed to exist. Over 1 million subscribers, you do antics like that and you don't see any consequences. Your real world consequences don't roll over onto your channel. Quantum, the only person in this situation that's really ratchet and just disgusting to even hear their voice or even just to be around is you, okay? You have done so many things to this community that I'm just surprised YouTube hasn't removed you. And I'm going to throw in the copyright strikes you have done. I'm just like... Okay, so straight up it's like this. If Quantum TV does not get removed from YouTube... That means other YouTubers are going to do the same thing that Quan TV is going to do. They're going to false right copy strike people that don't agree with them. And they're going to be allowed to get away with it. So if YouTube gets rid of Quantum, then that shows other YouTubers that they can't get away with it either and it's pointless. Like I said, I'm surprised they haven't removed you from that, at least. I mean, also, too, going around harassing people, too. Like, you want to talk about... <laughs> you want to talk about Review Tech USA harassing people? I've seen you go to multiple videos. Multiple videos, even including mine. Harassing my comment section with links to, like, what is it? Actman's... Uh, that Actman video, I should say. You know the one where he was saying those slurs that it was, like, years and years ago and he apologized? Yeah, you keep trying to use that to defame him and stuff, and it's really not working, bro. I don't know what delusional world you live in to where you think that's going to work, but it's really not. YouTube's already aware of it. Everybody's aware of it. Pretty much everybody forgot about it. And for, like, maybe the past month or two since you decided to last post or copyright strike everything, nobody really cared if you existed still. Well, I mean, I kind of did because, you know, I am working on that video about you. Now, let's talk about liability. You are technically a liability because you've broken so many rules along with breaking the copyright, what is it, the copyright strike system that it is becoming a problem. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Once YouTube, once you keep striking videos, YouTube's going to realize he's a liability He's attacking users for absolutely no reason. Oh, we need to get rid of him because that's what's going to happen. Just keep playing this game, Quantum. And, and you just keep getting more emboldened and more brazen. And guess what happens? You finally got a consequence. You got your ship removed. And it was just because you crossed a line. And no matter whether you agree with crossing the line or not, you crossed a line, okay? I imagine if it's so hard for you to understand if somebody treated your son like this, your child. Your Quantum, you're starting to worry me, man. 
Why do you always keep mentioning Review Tech USA's kids? You know, that sounds like somebody else I you me you and me know, like West said West Side Tech, you know? Can't say I ever heard of West Side Tech. Now let's go on to that little discussion right there, um Quantum TV thinks Review Tech USA is a pedophile. Or technically the P word. What's this? Let's say the P word from now on until I feel more comfortable saying the actual word. So, Quan TV's been going around with his mouth off, calling Review Tech USA the P word. Three times, from what I know, I have no clue if he said the P word any more times than those three. And he says it without no evidence. You want people to know the true Quantum TV? Show your evidence. Let that be loud and clear in your ear. Show evidence. You have shown no freaking evidence of Review Tech. Try again. Review Tech USA of him being a P. Show us your evidence. It's starting to worry me, bro. You keep mentioning kids, especially Review Tech USA's, and I do not understand why. You are. But it doesn't. Oh, I know why. That's because Quantum TV could but This just as a conspiracy theory, by the way, that maybe Quantum TV might also be one. He might be a P. You don't grow from this. And the thing is, you walk around with this attitude like you're greater than now, and all of you other bigger YouTubers have this bad habit of pretending like your careers are over. Like you, for example. Oh, I'm quitting. I'm going to go over to my, my streaming channel. Until this is resolved and I get a formal apology from YouTube, I'm going to go here. It's a lie. It's a stunt. Going out of business to go in business. We get it. Actman did the same fucking thing. Pretending that, oh, it was Quantum TV that false flagged all of my videos and got me demonetized. Meanwhile, YouTube long since told him that it was his fault for literally threatening to dox people from YouTube in a satirical post that he said. You know, let's put quotations around satirical. It's just you guys put your foots in your mouth and then you point the finger at everybody else and then you pretend like your careers are over just to come back and make more money from it. It's a game that you guys do, a formula you use, and I get it, but it's played the fuck out. And it's like, you're sitting here like, you know, oh, and he doesn't like it when people talk bad about him. No shit, Sherlock. Nobody likes it when you harass other people. Talking bad about people, trying to humiliate and shame somebody, as if you've never done anything, really, that you should be ashamed of. I really love it when he tries to play the victim in this situation. Don't forget the racist card. You know, he sits there like, I am all more than holy thou. I never did any of this stuff to anybody. I never uh, made this video on this person, calling them... Uh, how can I say a child abuser or pedo or anything like that? No, dude. No, trust me. There is you are well documented. I say you're the most second well most documented person on the internet because you are being constantly watched. And also too, you want to cry harassment? This is just karma to what you've done to the A V community and the commentary community. People are just covering your actions. That's all they're doing. They don't want to see who you harassed and I've told my audience multiple times not to harass you. Just do it in the comment section. Yes, and I'll say the same thing too. Do not harass or be as go as low as Quantum TV. If you do, you're no better than him. So my subscribers and viewers, don't be like him. You know, vent. That's what I like them to do. I like them to vent in my comment section. But... A lot of them do say that it's karma. It's karma that has finally came for you. Karma is basically a butch. Anybody watching this video can easily have everything taken from them if we trace back their social media account, right? Like, let's trace back your social media account back to when you were dealing with Big Cheese Crusaders and what you were saying back then. Let's trace fucking Actman's account back to when he was dropping the hard N-word with the R's at the end of it, okay? On camera, bro. Like, you people can trace yourselves back to the same shit you magically have a stance against. Magically. It, it's amazing how that works. And the funny thing is, I already gave my reasoning for what happened. I wasn't even in any kind of obligation to do that. I did that because it's unfortunate. I'm like, damn, that really sucks. I don't want people to think that. But then you took it and then you started a cancel culture campaign to try to target me. You know, Quantum is right about that. You can backtrack people's uh, P 
people's behavior that they've had online and like through YouTube, through Twitter, through Facebook, all that type of stuff. It's really not hard to find this stuff. But here's another thing though too, like again with you that you don't get quantum, that you don't fucking get. He doesn't get it all too either. Not gar up a quantum, I mean. So, yes, I am aware that um, Ackman did say the N word, but here's the thing, Quantum TV. He apologized. You, on the other hand, have not apologized about being you, a racist, by calling someone a hybrid. Yes, apparently that's in a racial thing now. I mean, racist thing now. Calling someone who's half Mexican, half white, half black, half white. Like, all those kinds. That's apparently now a racist thing now. I'm glad I know about it. And Quantum TV has still not even bothered to apologize. These people have learned from their lessons and they've moved on. They've become a better person than what they are right now, okay? It's not that hard. It's not that hard to admit that you messed up and you're going to move on and try to be a better person. Like, come on, dude, really? And the thing is, you are nobody and nothing to be trying to do that when you've got worse shit and the same shit that you say that you care about in your past. Like, you need to stop this, like, greater than thou ideal that you, for all intents and purposes, can come down and deliver God's divine judgment in the form of a YouTube video and strike down anyone that you don't like on the platform and anywhere else. Okay, I know, I'm, I know I said that I'll just wait until he stops talking. I've already done... I already broke that wording a few times already, but I'm going to do it again. Um, let's see. What did I say before? Review Tech USA would have not bothered with you at all, Quan TV. He would have not done any of this because you have not learned your lesson. I bound to bet. Review Tech USA would have done nothing to you if you did not have made that Elden Ring review and telling people to go themselves. Technically kill. You're the kind of person that if you bump into somebody on an airplane and you have a problem with them and the stewardess doesn't give you your way, you'll look at the stewardess and say, do you know who I am? I'm Review Tech USA, I'll have your fucking job. Like, you, you remind me of one of those people. Like, the, just the most... See, here's the funny thing about that, though, uh, Quantum. You're the type of person to do that. Does anybody need a refresher or, like, a, you know, a reminder? Remember when he, uh, when he, I should say, he called Actman's mom, and then his mom called back because she couldn't believe it? And he replied with, Quantum TV! Go look at the video. You'll see what I mean. It's, it's amazing how that works. And the funny thing is, I already gave my reasoning for what happened. I wasn't even in any kind of obligation to do that. I did that because it's unfortunate. I'm like, damn, that really sucks. I don't want people to think that. But then you took it and then you started a cancel culture campaign to try to target me. And the thing is, you are nobody and nothing to be trying to do that when you've got worse shit and the same shit that you say that you care about in your past. Like, you need to... Hey, Quantum. Quantum, hey buddy, pal, amigo, nobody gives a shit about your shitty TV reviews. Nobody gives a crap if you just turn up the saturation on your TVs. Your content is dog shit. Okay, buddy? Nobody cares about your TV. Well, I know I'm going to have to put up a warning sign for the cursing and stuff. I'll just let people know, oh, hey, there's cursing in this video. If you don't want to listen to it, turn away now. TV reviews. You surround yourself with yes men to the point you will never grow. You are a turd in the water. You will never evolve your content. You will never, ever learn the pain and the struggles. Of what a you of, of what a YouTuber has to go through in order to stay within the algorithm and keep the the audience's attention, you will never learn that. All you are going to be is that sad little TV reviewer. 
and want to care about you. They're only going to care about you when you do something dumb. Stop this loop who keeps linking me to it, which is why you get a response because, you know, I'm a nice guy. I'll tell you, hey, listen, bro. And, and you know how much I care about this? I'll put it on a channel where I'm not monetized because I genuinely do not give a shit about making money off of this because I'm not a drama channel. I don't care. No, you clearly do care about making money of this. If you were gonna, if you were gonna stop, you would have done this a long time ago. But no, you keep doing this because you're getting the views instead of getting views from your other TV reviews because they're garbage. This does nothing for me. In fact, I'm sure you're gonna eat good off of it because you're a parasite, and it's what you do. Look, talking. Then again, that plays into what I'm saying. You're the liability. All of you are. All you commentary channels that sit there kicking around and ganging up and like curb stomping as many people as you can to get clout with people with similar personalities creating a digital mob. I mean, like, okay, but don't act like you're some fucking saint community. Like, oh my God, can you guys believe this? Look at his Twitter. It's like, bro, like, get the fuck off of that. Boy, I cannot wait for this video I got on you to come out. I'm gonna kick you off your high horse so I can't wait for it either. So hard that the community's gonna feel it. The the people that have a bigger subscriber base are gonna see it and they're gonna poke and laugh at you and just watch people just rip you apart. It's gonna be a spectacular thing, Quantum, okay? I cannot wait for it. Like, you have no room to sit there talking about tweets that have been hacked on somebody's shit, bruh. And it's like, you know what? I'm not even sitting here justifying anything. I don't care anymore. The same way I don't care that you want to keep here on every video you make calling me a bad person. Just like I don't care that Actman got monetized after YouTube told him he can reapply after July 8th. Like, you guys sit here and cry, wolf, play victim, and it ages like spoiled milk, and then you're on to the next fucking target. Like, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, guys, and I'm really sorry about that, but Quantum... T oh, it's fine, Gara, it's fine. I know you want to stop talking about him, but it's entertainment. <laughs> TV just doesn't get it. He doesn't get it, and it's going to get to the point where it's going to bite him in the ass. Because he keeps repeating things, and he thinks he's clever, but he's really not. You know, he he's projecting onto people, saying that, oh, you're being victims, and you can't... It really just sounds like his Elden Ring review again, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> it's such a joke, I swear to God. Okay, you're, you're very lewd, man, and, and you sit here on camera like some glorified cam girl. Okay, doing the most disgusting stuff, burping and farting and smacking your lips in the, the microphone because you think it's funny. You're a slob. You're disgusting. L You're the one to talk about that. You, sir, are the more dangerous person on YouTube. And heck, the burping and all that stuff, it's funny as heck. Including his random humor. The birds, all that stuff, Review Tech USA does. At least people are laughing. The only people that are laughing at your jokes are just your fans. Literally. And you do this and you think that a company that has ads wants to be seen on your live streams and on your content? That's a fucking lie. And yet they still haven't pulled the fucking ads from his channel. You know, some people like to work with him. Some, and he does not like to work with some advertisers. You know, keep trying to run your mouth quantum, pretending that you know people. But you fucking don't. I know your ass pretty well, and once I get when once once I get my chance to shine, I'm going to be the weed whacker, and you're going to be the grass, and I'm going to get your ass good. I'm going to get it real good. Ability. If I paid YouTube or Google to market my shit, and I found out it was on your videos, I would pull my shit immediately from that, and I would go somewhere else like TikTok, where that doesn't happen. And if it does, I can control who I'm letting get my money. This dude really said. I'll just take my money to TikTok where none of that happens. Oh, wait, it, if it even does, I'll just take my money elsewhere. Okay, dude. Okay. Jeez. Quantum, you're a special case. Because people like you are scum. You make the rest of the business world look bad. That's why you don't have any real fucking sponsors. I mean, fuck. I mean, the moment you get them, they'll probably leave you. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And, and again, you guys all started this and all are doing this for money. 
you yourself have... You want to know something, Quantum TV? You want to know something? This would have never happened if you weren't such a dick. I've admitted on multiple occasions that, oh, Quantum, make videos, more videos. I'll keep making videos about you. You know, there's a new nickname. I'm going to give Quantum. I'm going to call him the Quantum Projection. He loves to project on people. Like, dude, I'm going to tell you again. Nobody likes your TV reviews. You surround yourself around Yes Man that'll just kiss your butt to the point. It's just, you're not going to improve. You're going to stagnate and then you're going to go right into the ground and crash. Because you can't make real unique content. And I, and I almost pity you, right, to be around this long. You have to have had some sort of insight into how YouTube works. But to recognize early on that you're so much of nothing that you have to sit there and boot stomp other people, curb stomp other people, like... To make a living, that must be very exhausting and tiring because just, just brushing into you guys and dealing with you, it's sad. It's like, this is your existence every morning. You have to wake up and like, who do I harass today? Like, fucking God, that's some sort of existence on YouTube. Meanwhile, I can just talk about technology and have a healthy community. Then here's some advice, Quantum. Shut up about it and accept your faults. Shut up and accept your criticism. I mean, not your criticism. Accept other people's criticism. None of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. If you were to have accept other people's criticism instead of acting like a big baby about it. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably just laughing at the statements that he's just, he's just talking out of his ass as usual. That's Pretty what much. Quantum does. He projects and he talks out of his rear end. None of what he says makes sense. Actually, it makes sense because he does these type of things and then he tries to project it onto people, trying to make them look like the bad guy. You are scum. Okay, Quantum, you are scum of the earth. And once YouTube finally wakes up or you do that one time, that one time where you send that one copyright strike, it's going to bite you in the ass, dude. It's going to get you. Must really hurt your pride to be labeled Review Tech USA, and you are not even a fraction of the review channel that I am. Sure. At least Review Tech USA isn't going every day, going up harassing other people because he always, to my knowledge at least, because he always goes off and calls people out for their bullcrap. Yeah, I don't get the views that you do, but I'm also not sitting here spurring on a digital mob that loves drama. Projection, projection, projection rhymes with quantum, because quantum loves to project. And inciting this kind of shit. So, I mean, I'm doing good with what I do. And it's funny because it's like, I, 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 don't, get I don't get this mindset. You genuinely believe that you have nothing wrong with what you're doing and that you can point fingers at everybody. That's because there's nothing wrong with what Review Tech USA is doing. Again, I'll keep I'll keep repeating this multitude of times, Quan TV, until you get your crap together. He is calling you out. The same thing what everyone else is doing. And I, and again. My last point that I'll say here before wrapping this shit up is, again, you guys want to run around and say, oh, it's a false copyright claim every time you get accountable for something. Meanwhile, none of you have ever filed copyright on shit and you run around taking people's videos and you think you run your mouth and people are just going to keep taking your shit. Again, one day you are going to pull this shit with somebody with significant financial resources to ruin you. It won't be me, but I guarantee you one day you're going to kick the wrong hive. And that shit is going to back. Technically, Quan TV, you kicked a you kicked a Japanese giant hornet hive, and those are much worse than any bee could ever be. Backfire like you never imagined. Yeah, keep talking that smack, Quantum. Keep talking that smack, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> we <laughs> we know you don't not have the financial, uh, how can I say, the stability to even. Send even people to court. So trust me, I know. And I know another certain person that you even tried to do this to them is going to be really hilarious. Because 
I have a feeling that if you even go to court, you're going to be ruined. And you're going to rule the day you even decided to make a YouTube account. I'm just going to go ahead and stop the video right there because the rest of the video is just absolute garbage that's coming out of this man's mouth. Quantum TV is not a threat. All Quantum TV is is a smoke and mirrors type of person. He is fake as hell. If he ever copyright strikes one of your guys' channel, and you've heard it from himself, he can't do it. He can't take you guys to court because he's not financially stable. Well, here's a bit of a spoiler alert. Counter his copyright claim. Okay, if it's fair use like what I'm doing right here, where I have gameplay going and all that type of stuff, cutting the, you know, the, uh, the video in and out, trying to address it, that type of thing. Yeah, that's fair use. And he's not going to be able to touch you. And if, if by some chance he does take you to court, you're, you're going to end up winning. Because this is fair use and uh, there's really nothing he could do about it. Oh, and speaking about YouTube telling you stuff to Quantum... In that video, the last the last video I addressed you on, hey, uh, dude, YouTube told you that uh, your copyright strike ain't shit. But anyway, guys, besides, you know, beating around Quantum, treating him my, like my whole punching bag, I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you really did enjoy the content, please hit that like button and comment in the comment section. I love talking to y'all. I really do. It's always a fun time. And if you want more of my content, there is a big red button down there. You just go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll get more of my videos in your uh, subscription box. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, fam. Oh, boy. Heck, I'm a race subscribe to him. Eh, you know what? Here. So, yep, yeah, this is my first reaction of Quantum TV's bullcrap. And I'll be surprised if I even get Quantum TV's reaction at all. Anyway, just like what Gara said, this is going to be the end of this video. If there's any form of criticism that you all want to say in the comments, then hey, that lets me know I did something wrong or I didn't mention something. That's fine by me. That tells me, oh hey, I did something wrong, and I should have, and I should address it. Anyway, thank you everyone. I'm gonna be putting this on. I'll be putting this video in um, Mixy One's. Uh, Mixy One's is on Discord. Um, also, I'll be putting um, Gara of the Rage. Mixy One and Chris the Arts YouTube channels links will be in the description. And that's it for to me, and I'll see you all for the next video. If you enjoyed today's episode, I mean, if you enjoyed today's video, please share, like, subscribe if you want to, and send the word out to other people. Quantum TV needs to go.